Five star plus one, ladies and gentlemen. Did you like them? I thought so. What about those costumes? Weren't those hot? Woo! All right. What do you think about my costume tonight? I, uh, I couldn't decide what to wear. I know last time I kind of slobbed out and, and people gave me a real hard time about it. That's why Steve Willoughby's not back, if you'll remember. The bookmobile's here. Forget it. I, I won't go off on Willoughby. The bookmobile. 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 Well, Hi, guys. How y'all doing? It's Steve's bell. Steve's bell. Hoss, we got your bell here. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> ring my bell. What do you guys got for me tonight? Books. <laughs> Great. Lots Great. of books. Rich, you're looking Vanna Whiteish tonight. I... <laughs> oh, well. Rich, give me a letter. Okay, um, as you all know, we're in college. This is a learning institution, and uh, no better way to learn than to read a little bit. This uh, was, of course, inspired by David Letterman, my personal hero, and Lance's personal look-alike. We've, uh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, uh, we've got several new books here, and uh, I recently just finished reading a very deep novel. It was called The Little Engine That Could. Oh, you read that one, too? I read it. It was fantastic. Can you look the carpet? Huh? You know, he's going up the hill, you know? Oh, yeah, that was so deep and symbolic. Yeah. Anyway, we've got some really great novels for you tonight, and uh, Rich and Lance will model them. I'm going to read you a little outline here that they've given me. Our first book tonight is uh, all about what happens when an SFO dignitary travels to Lebanon to negotiate for the release of hostages. That's right. This book is called No Convo, No Dinner. First they got Terry, now they have Ted Hill. <laughs> I, haven't, I have not read this book. Is there anybody in the audience that's read this yet? Rich, you, you previewed this book? Uh, they haven't got Terry back, but bad news is they got Ted and we're eating chicken tomorrow. <laughs> no, not chicken. Yeah, we are. Okay, well, I guess we'll... Oh, book number two. Book number two. This book's about what happens when you delve into the shady past of a School of the Ozarks maintenance supervisor. It's called... I was a first grade paste addict. It's the life and times of Bill Blunk. I, uh, I don't know Bill Blunk very well. Uh, what, what was that all about? Does anybody know? I used to do glue. You used to do glue? Elmer's. Elmer's was your favorite. <laughs> okay. Well, Rich, I never knew that about you. You look pretty pasty yourself. I know it, pasty. <laughs> in our third book tonight, in the tradition of that great film, Debbie Does Dallas. The SFO Press has published this shocking novel, Ted Does Dishes. Not true. Not true? It's not true. Ted does not do dishes. Hey, <laughs> all people, does Ted do dishes? I told you. I does, does everybody over. here work in a dining hall? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Dr. Davidson, if you're out there, you've got to do something about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm. Our fourth book is the riveting novel of a man who smiled too much for his own good. This is The Life and Times of Steve the Postman. It's available at most stores under the title, Signed, Sealed, Delivered. I'm yours, baby. <laughs> Steve, I hope you're out there. We brought that book, and uh, Steve will be glad to autograph a copy for anybody that would like to buy one afterwards. And speaking of buying books, no collection would be complete without this series of books. It's an inspired series of self-instructional text and can be yours now for the low price of only $19.99 a volume. Volume number one, Rich, show that. <laughs> Courtney Furman teaches you to whistle every great Presbyterian hymn. <laughs> that is important. That's very important. and. Uh, I've read part of this book. I don't think I can do Amazing Grace yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Volume number two. Courtney Furman teaches you to whistle the same bells or the same songs as the higher bell tower. <laughs> that is very important. You guys can hum right along with the SFO mini concerts brought to you by the chaplain's office at noon and six every day. <laughs> and volume number three, graciously held by Lance the Wonder Dog, Courtney whistles every Led Zeppelin classic without moving his lips. That's the bookmobile, gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much. Read, Here's your bell. Bell. Remember, reading is fundamental. Fun to what? Fundamental. Oh, okay. Mental. That word always throws me off. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Get out of the way. <laughs>
Man of Lord. We're on a court. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Group number four. <laughs> move on, please. <laughs> yeah, these guys are embarrassing me. I didn't pay them, by the way. Here, Lance, got a little money for you here? <laughs> okay.